Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Addie. Thank you for joining me today. So today guys, I have my very first Sephora haul. So I'm going to let you know all the products that I picked up in this spring savings event in 2023. So the sale started April 14th and it ends on April 24th, 2023. So you still have time to pick up some item in the sale. So I picked up the Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel Pads. And so these were highly recommended from Kiko Beauty. So she's responsible for this expensive purchase. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I've, I've been hearing really great things about these peel pads for a long time. I believe that the first person that I heard talk about this is DJ Envy's wife, Gia, she did like some podcasts and she was talking about all the skincare items that she used. And this was one of them. But since I watch Kiko Beauty all the time, um, she always raves about these. So I went ahead and picked them up. These peel pads are for oily skin or imperfections, uneven tone or texture, wrinkles or enlarged pores. Okay, so it's going to clear up all that good stuff. And recently I broke out on my forehead, which I rarely ever have breakouts, but I broke out. And, um, and so after the breakout, I have like some dark spots on my forehead. So that is what I am trying to clear up right now. So I think that the dentist peel pads are going to help for that. The next skincare item is, uh, the Guerlain youth watery oil and so basically you see those little beads in there those are like um honey beads and so i learned of this product through buying a fragrance off of the guerlain's website i think at this time i had gotten spiritueuse double Bene, and i got to pick you know two items or something like that and yeah, so I fell in love with this and I was running out of it, but I was like, "Ooh, it's expensive, you know? So I got the 30, 30 ml and I believe this is 105 US dollars. So I actually got 25% off everything that I purchased because I got the Sephora. They got me on the Sephora credit card. So <laughs> I got the Sephora credit card and so I got 25% off of all these uh, products. And so I felt like, um, let me get my big ticket items, you know, right now with the 25% off. So I use this youth watery oil in place of my hyaluronic acid. So after I wash my face, I usually put like a hyaluronic acid acid on my face and that is to to bring back moisture to the skin and so instead of using hyaluronic acid I use this in place of that and it just has my skin looking so fresh and rejuvenated almost like I just got a facial every time I wear this bare skin I feel like people notice and they're like wow your skin is glowing it looks bright so it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It's like a oil, like a watery oil. So it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It's lightweight. I actually have it underneath my makeup today after I wash my face, um, you know, use a couple of skincare products. And this is one of the ones that I use and it doesn't feel heavy at all. So you can even wear it under makeup if you want it. Um, this is really good stuff, pretty expensive. Um, so get it while it's on sale. Next skincare product is Paula's Choice, and this is the C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. And so this is basically, um, it has 5% vitamin C and hexapeptide in there. And so I love Paula's Choice skincare line. And so I have, and I use a lot of their products. Uh, before I I, I actually had the um, the vitamin C, but the drops, but I ran out of that. And so this is kind of like a newer product of theirs that I wanted to try. And so I use this in the morning and I use it in place of a moisturizer because this is actually a moisturizer with vitamin C. 
I love that it comes in this airless pump because if you are familiar with vitamin C, it oxidizes very quickly and these airless pumps help them, I would say, last longer so the air doesn't get to the vitamin C and, you know, make it oxidize even faster. And so, yeah, so that's what I picked up. I also picked up the Paula's Choice Discoloration Repair Serum. This one has trenosemic acid and bacuchiol. So bacuchiol is similar to a retinol, but it's kind of like more of a natural ingredient, which the retinol is more of a chemical ingredient. And so this is supposed to help fade the look of dark spots. And so basically I got this because of those black spots, those dark spots that I just told you that are kind of like healing. Yeah. So I need the dark spots to fade away. So I'm hearing that this is a very good product and that's what I'm trying out. And so pick that up on the sale. Now this, I did not pick up this one. I did not pick up on the sale but I've been using it since 2021 and I highly recommend this product. And that is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Okay. And so this one for me, I'm going to tell you what it helps out with. It unclogs my pores because I have what is called closed comedones or AKA you could call them whiteheads. So I would use this like two to three times a week to like exfoliate my skin. And when I say it gets everything up out of there, um, this is some really good stuff. And I'm hearing that this is going viral. People are raving about it. Like I said, I've been using it since 2021. This is a tried and true um, repurchase. I actually picked this I actually got another bottle of this in the last Sephora sale. And so, um, yeah, so this is good stuff. And that is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and has salicylic acid in there. Okay, next we're going to move on to makeup. So I got this Sephora blending sponge set. I don't know. Um, it was pretty affordable. I just picked it up. Um, and so I'll just try them out, you know, with my makeup. So... So this is the repurchase and this is Milk's Hydro Grip Primer. And so this is a really good primer. I have combination skin. So drying some places and really mostly oily in my T-zone. So this is a tried and true primer by Milk. Now this is new. This just came out and this is the one size Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. And that is what I have underneath my makeup today. So today is my first day wearing it. So I can't give you feedback on what, you know, how it works just yet. But I am trusting the process and the product. And I will update you on this one to let you know how this goes. Okay. So also I have the one size. And this is Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Let me tell you. I used this one um, yesterday, I want to say, and my makeup did not go anywhere. It goes on like this. Breathe. <laughs> it goes on like hairspray, actually. So this is a really unique setting spray. Most of them have some type of watery type of mist to them. This one is really lightweight and I put my head on my pillow and usually you know how your makeup rubs off on the pillow the makeup did not go anywhere okay so like I said this is my second day wearing it but I want to say that from what I see so far this is really good stuff so yeah so that's the Patrick Stars one size mattifying primer so I wanted to try a new foundation and typically I usually stick to the same foundation. When I was in my 20s, I used to use, you know, the MAC products and everything. But when I got out of that, I stuck to NARS Sheer Glow, right? And um, that's just what I like. It has like a medium coverage. It's not too heavy. It, it works very well with my 
combination skin. That's just what I liked. And so Kiko Beauty, you're responsible again for this. So this is the NARS Soft Make Complete Foundation. And my color is Macau. And so that's what I have on today. Now this one, um, it is, to me, it's full coverage, but it's very lightweight. Like it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. And it's covering up, you know, all those, those spots. I didn't have to put any concealer or, you know, cover up any of those spots so for right now I'm saying yes to this I'm really liking this foundation so far if you like Estee Lauder's double wear foundation if you like Too Faced born this way foundation if you like Giorgio Armani luminous skin foundation I think that you will like this as well there's another foundation that I wanted to try and that is the makeup Mario foundation I'm hearing really good things about that one but since I have so many foundations already what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait to finish one and then my next foundation you know pickup will probably be the makeup Mario's foundation that that is the NARS soft matte complete foundation Okay, these are not new products, but I just, I had one of them and I really liked it. And so that is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And so the one that I had when they initially came out years ago, it's like a purple one. But I went ahead and picked up a pink one and that is called Woodstock. I picked up a blue one and that is called Chaos. And I picked up a matte black one, which is called Perversion. And so I use this today underneath my eyes and I like how pigmented it is and it just glides right on. So these are really good. And yeah, so just felt like getting a few more of those. Now, I also picked up the Jack Black Intense Lip Balm. And this has SPF of 25 sunscreen in it. And I picked up the Natural Mint and Kiko Beauty is responsible. <laughs> so I have really chapped lips and um, I'm always looking for something that's gonna moisturize it really well. And I can say that this, I used it for like two or three days and even like that dead layer of skin, it comes off. I like the way it feels. I kind of like like minty, menthol, spearmint, peppermint type of things, like the sensation of that on my lips. And so I picked that up and I can say that it's pretty good so far. I actually have it underneath my, um, my lipstick because the lipstick that I have is just, it's, it's a, like a matte lipstick. And so I use that to kind of like moisture before I put it on. And so if you're wondering what lip color I have on today, I have on Jaclyn Hill. I love Jaclyn Hill so much. Like she taught me so much like with makeup and stuff. I've been watching her since she got on YouTube basically. And so this color that I have is called I'm In It. And it's a beautiful, like a, pretty Barbie hot pink. I did not pick this up from Sephora, but you can go on the Morph website, I believe, and they still sell. And I think Jacqueline has a website as well where you could pick that up. I just wanted to mention the color because I'm talking about lips and if anybody wanted this color. So that's from Jacqueline Hill. Another lip product that I've been loving, and I picked this one up, and uh, when it first came out, I want to say it was like November or December. I picked this up from the Fenty website. And this is Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm Ice. And this one is called Cold Hearted. Basically, it's just like a clear a lip gloss. And let me tell you about it. This thing is so polarizing. It's so strong. It has, this one smells like a peppermint or spearmint or double mint gum. And so it's so strong. It, that sensation, it like burns my lips. Like, but it's very soothing though. It's so strong to the point where like it burns my eyes. <laughs> and that goes for like 10 minutes and then it like calms down a little bit. So I do not advise maybe children or if your eyes are sensitive, 
you might want to stay away from this but i just love the sensation and it does the same thing and it just like moisturizes my lips so well and it takes off like that dead layer of skin so that is the fenty um gloss bombs they are really good this one is really good cold hearted and so kiko you're responsible you are a responsible girl so she did like a lip combination and this is the charlotte tilbury lip cheat lip lining pencil and this one is called pillow talk three intense so i like like pinky new lips pink lips red lips sometimes even an orange lip or whatnot so this you can never have too many brown lip liners and so um, I just waited for the sale to pick this up. And so that's the Char Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 3 Intense Lip Liner. Okay. And so we're staying on Charlotte Tilbury. So I went ahead and got the Airbrush Flawless Finish because I usually like to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finisher after I put on all my foundation. Um, but I had the travel size of this one and um, so I went ahead and got the full size and the shade that I'm in is three or tan so I kind of like put my foundation and put that all over to set it in this is really good and so before I picked up a shade four but I noticed that that was a little bit too dark for me and it ended up being like kind of patchy so I went back and I picked up the shade three and then I also got um, the airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury there is so much product in this I love it I like I just love the packaging um, this is really good quality and so that's how it looks kind of like you know chisel chisel put it you know all around give that nice bronze effect and I got it in the shade four deep okay so let's talk about body and fragrance and so of course we all know Sol, J Sol de Janeiro's bum bum body for Menza oil okay so I picked up this and I want to say it smells oh god let me see well it came out uh, I want to say in the fall or the end of the year of last year but I just placed it on my wish list and I was just waiting on the Sephora cell uh, because the body cream, the whole everything in this line is so good. And I actually tested it out on my skin at Sephora and it's a very good quality oil. And so I highly recommend um, this oil. So on the subject of body oils, I picked up some more body oils. So everybody knows the Nest body oil. So I picked up the first one that I ever got was the Indian Jasmine. I believe that's my favorite one out of all of them. And my next favorite one is the Civil Orange. I just I like citrus. I like fresh and clean. So I picked it up in the um, the travel size. Also love, love the Turkish Rose Oil. Oh, so good. Oh, my God. So good. And then I just had to get the big one of the Bali oil. It smells like it smells like candied coconut and vanilla. It's just like so good. It has like a little sweetness in there. This is like slowly becoming my number one. And so the next thing that I got is Chanel. I was stuck in an airport for 23 hours. It was horrible, but guess what? Chanel was across the street. Joe Malone was across the street. So I just went sniffing, you know, all of the Chanel perfumes. And so that made me happy <laughs> as I waited. But, um, and so I said, you know what? I'm, I'm not, I didn't purchase it right then. I said, I'll wait to the Sephora sale. And I went ahead and picked up Chanel Gabriella Essence or Gabrielle Essence. It smells so luxurious, like classy. It is, I want to say, a white floral or white flower fragrance. Um, this smells like it could be a wedding day fragrance. So my 
favorite two from when I smelled the Chanel line was this one and Gardenia. Those two are my favorites. So I picked that up in the sale. So guys, it's getting close to the summertime. I know spring just got here, but um, I am getting my summer stuff ready. And so this is the Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. And so a lot of these ones, I'm kind of like pleasantly surprised with them because one, I didn't know that they were coming out. And two, I just went to Sephora before the sale just to make sure I, you know, I had my, my whole cart was straight and I smelled this and I was like, wow, like it's really refreshing. It smells like a coconut water and like you squeeze a little bit of lime juice in there, lemon or lime juice. And then, um, some nice vanilla, like you put some little drops of vanilla. It smells like a little drink, a little coconut. It smells like a vacation. <laughs> it's so pretty. And so once my box came, I got this and I was spraying. I was like, oh, this is going to be gone. Okay. So I went back to the store and I picked up the big bottle because... I need it. Okay. I just need it. So I went back and I picked that up. <laughs> okay. So that's really good. Then the next thing I picked up was the travel size and I'm glad it's not a roller bar anymore. It actually sprays. And so this one is the Sunkiss Hibiscus and it's from Ness. It's very refreshing. It has hibiscus and coconut and yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It's so beautiful. So this, uh, I think my favorite one was the indigo and the second favorite one was this one. So I just went ahead and picked up the travel size of that. Beautiful. So the next thing I got was the Versace Pour Femme and this is Dylan Blue. And boy, oh boy, this is my fragrance for today. And I really wish I would have got the bigger bottle. It's so good. It's such a beautiful Fruity floral scent is what I would describe it as. And fruity floral fragrances is my favorite category. And I am highly impressed with this fragrance. Next, I got Juliet Has a Gun Lust for Sun. And so, like I said, before the sale, I went into Sephora to smell some things. And I was like, oh, I never seen that before. So smelled it, fell in love on sight, okay? And so it opens up with a lot of floral notes, but then in the dry down, I get that beautiful coconut and vanilla touch to it. It has like a molecular or solar type of feel to it. Like a lot of the Juliet Has a Gun fragrances have. Um, but out of all of them, I would say that this one is my favorite. I also do like vanilla vibes and a sunny side up, but this one is my favorite and I will be rocking this out this summer. Next thing that I got is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Intense. I started off with a travel size of this. I let my sister come over and I let her like smell my fragrances sometimes. And so she fell in love with one house of Siage one and she fell in love with this one. She was like, oh, I'm buying this like today, today. <laughs> she bought it. She just texted me too, like yesterday. And she was just like, girl, people love my fragrance. I keep getting compliments. I'm getting crazy compliments on my fragrance. So this one, um, it does smell similar to the original, but it's its own, definitely its own fragrances. Some people like the original. They don't like this. Some people like this one. They don't like the original. I actually like both. I think this one to me is more wearable to me. Like I feel like I could wear this every day and that original one, I feel like that one I would more so wear at night at nighttime or sometime where I want to stand somewhere where I want to stand out more. This one has jasmine, vanilla and benzoin. I believe it has amber as well. And so if you are not a jasmine person, I would say try this before you buy it. Um, but this is a gorgeous fragrance. And yeah, so this is a really good designer fragrance. And that is Valentina Donna Born in Roma Intense. I love this one. So I had to get something real expensive, you know, and that is my Tom Ford. I just got the travel size of the Soleil Neige. I've always been wanting this one, but I got other ones before it. And so I'll wait for a more hefty discount at a different store. But for now, I felt like this with 20 25% off, I got this 25% off. Um, 
I, yeah, I just went ahead and picked it up. This one is like white florals, but the standout note in here to me is the carrot seeds. This smells like metallic -y to me. I don't know really how to describe it. I would say just to get your nose on it with all Tom Ford fragrances, you just need to get your nose on it and not only test it on paper, you have to put it on your skin. You have to. And so um, this makes number five of Tom Ford fragrances in my collection. And before that, I think I only liked one. But when I went back and put them on my skin, it's a different story. OK, and so that is Tom Ford's Solinage in the travel size. And so it comes with about that much and it's pretty good. I know I'm going to run through this and I'll be picking up the bigger bottle. OK, so last but not least is my Kaoli Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. Now, I just did a ranking on all of the Kaoli, all of the 12 Kaoli fragrances, and this one is number one. And my other bottle, the dent is like down to here. And so I said that I was going to pick up another one and just let it sit and let it macerate. And I'll pick it up, you know, later on after the summer, like that other bottle. I know that I'm going to run through that the spring and the summer. And so I have this one ready to go. I'll spray it a few times, let it sit and macerate. And so I was dead serious about getting another bottle of this fragrance because I love it so much much and so there are a lot of mixed reviews on this fragrance so I would say just try it yourself okay and so that is Kaoli's Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. That concludes my very first Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all the products that I had to share with you guys today. Please let me know if you've tried any of these products and if you like them or if you don't like them, because people really be down in the comments and they read like, you know, what you guys say and your opinion on it. And if everybody's like, yes, 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 you know, it gets them to being like, OK, well, I might try that one then. Or if everybody's like, no, 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 like Destiny's Child, child they probably might not try that one. And so. Your opinions matter. Your comments matter. Leave them below. Let me know some of the things that you picked up on the sale, your recommendations. Um, maybe I can check them out. But my cart was a fully loaded for the spring. And so Sephora got all my good coins this time around. And every time I say I'm going to skip it, I still some way, somehow go and pick up something. OK, so. <laughs> I'm out. I don't want to look at any more hauls or recommendations because I don't want to buy anything else. <laughs> OK. OK, so the sale runs through April 24th. So you still have time to get your little discount from Sephora. If you stuck with me to the end, give me any form of a pink heart. And I would like to thank you for tuning in and watching my first Sephora haul. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.